Well, welcome back to another edition of Home Inspection Bites. I'm your host, Derek Pomaville, and at Home Inspection Bites, we're taking the high road to give you that high ground advantage in your home inspection career. Today's video is going to be all about procedure. We haven't done a procedure video in a while, so we wanted to get back to the basics because you guys asked for it. Today, what we're going to be looking at is inspecting the roof. What's the process? What's the flow? What's the procedure? We won't be paying attention to details today and defects and stuff like that. Just focused on the procedure for the brand new home inspector. So let's get started. The roof inspection usually begins from the ground. A safety conscious home inspector will always look for structural irregularities prior to stepping on the roof. If you see any reason not to traverse the roof, then don't. Most standards of practice give the home inspector full discretion for determining what's safe or what won't cause damage. And while you're up there, remember not to take any step for granted. Continually maintain awareness of every single footfall. Once you've determined the roof is safe to traverse and you've chosen a safe place to set it up, put your ladder safely against the eaves. We'll cover ladder safety in greater detail in another video. We're going to break the roof inspection down into three basic steps. One, walk the drip edge of the roof and scan the materials and penetrations from the bottom up. Two, walk the ridge line and scan everything from the top down. And three, inspect each roof penetration and the chimney. This way, the roof inspection goes quickly and you'll get three good looks at the roof surface to avoid missing anything. While walking the drip edge or perimeter of the roof, resist that temptation to walk up to a deficiency you might see in a roof penetration. It'll still be there later when you're inspecting them and you need to focus first on the overall condition of the roofing material. While walking the ridge, be sure not to walk on the ridge as most roofing materials installed at ridges will get damaged. Look to confirm any structural clues you may have seen while scanning from the drip edge. This alternate view may also reveal deficiencies and conditions you couldn't see from the opposite point of view, so be sure to take the time to scan everything. Finally, walk to each roof penetration and inspect. Know your flashing requirements for roof penetrations and apply that knowledge to each one. Like other areas of the home inspection, there are no shortcuts on the roof. Deficiencies, whether wear and tear or installation issues, can easily lead to a leak and water damage to the home. An important thing to remember while conducting any phase of the roof inspection is to stop and write your deficiencies and limitations in the report when you see them. Take a picture of the deficiency, put it in your reporting system. This saves you time, helps you get the report done on site, and ensures you'll get all the relevant information in the report. Now once off the roof, be sure to collect your ladder, collapse it, and place it somewhere where it's least likely to cause damage or tempt children to climb on it. We hope you liked the roof inspection demonstration today. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification icon to stay up to date on our latest videos.